Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on rounding off worksheets. Now this video will give us a few worksheets to practice the topic of rounding off. And the first question will ask us to round off each of the following to the nearest 10. So here we have six questions and what the students need to remember here is that when the answer is written down you have to have at least one zero at the end because it is to the nearest ten. Question two round off each of the following to the nearest one hundred. So we have another six questions here and the important thing to note here is because we are rounding off to the nearest hundred, the students must understand that in the answer, that is when the rounding off is done, there have to be at least two zeros in the answer. Of course you have two zeros here. Question three, round off each of the following to the nearest one thousand. So here we have six questions and in exactly the same as the previous slide, the same principle applies. Here you see three zeros. It says to the nearest 1,000, which means that in the answer, when you do the rounding off, when the students do the rounding off, you have to have at least three zeros in the answer. Question four asks us to round off each of the following to the nearest 10,000. Now it's easier to see here, this is a, just a little bit more challenging than the first few. You can see here there are four zeros. So we must impress to the students that in the answer, when you write the answer down for each of these with respect to rounding up or rounding down, you must have at least four zeros in the answer. Very, very important. So this video has given us a few slides and they are worksheets where we can practice the topic of rounding off. So we're either rounding up, we're rounding down and it's very important to remember how many zeros will have to appear in the answer. 